Seattle resident Nicole Bowen Crawford came back from Iraq with heavy baggage. Like other combat veterans, she struggles with PTSD and other residual effects of her experiences. She's thrown herself into helping other veterans, specifically advocating in Washington for legislation that would make it safer for service members to report sexual assault. Along the way, Crawford has discovered a tool that helps her heal, and she's here to tell us more. Welcome, Nicole. Thank you for having me. What set you on this journey? You know, I think it was just coming back from deployment and um, struggling with with PTSD and um, and really wanting to live a fulfilling life. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, just being on a mission to heal first myself and then um, you know it and it ended up being about other people as well. Yeah. So can you tell us as, as much as you're comfortable telling us about mm -hmm. your your personal experience? Sure. Um, I was deployed to Iraq in um, 2003 mm -hmm. um, when Operation Iraqi Freedom first started, and uh, we were on the front lines on uh, the second day of the invasion. Um, and I mean, I was I was in the combat zone for about a year, um, and during that time, I was sexually assaulted by uh, a sergeant um, during night shift and. Um, and was advised to not report the incident. Um, uh, mostly, and, and I had my own fear of retaliation, but um, it's just kind of baked into the system right now. Um, mm. And it's not a safe place to report uh, sexual assault. So, so tell us about your efforts, uh, what you're doing here at home, what you want to see happen. Mm. Um, I, Right now, Senator Gillibrand uh, is supporting a bill called the Military Justice and Improvement Act, mm -hmm. um, which it's been sent, you know, denied and ignored. Um, she's going to keep bringing it up year after year. Um, but what the bill does is, is it makes it safe for service members to report sexual assault, so they don't have to do that within their chain of command. You, uh, you make no secret of the fact that you um, have suffered from PTSD. Uh, why, why is it that you are so comfortable sharing your story, or is it not a comfortable thing to share, but you have to do it anyway? You know, it's not comfortable. Actually, it's really uncomfortable for me, but it's, it's also, um, I share my story as an act of service uh, to put a human face to the issues. Um, and um, to just, you know, I'm, I'm struggling, and you know, there's nothing to be ashamed about it. It's really normal to come back from any kind of trauma or war um, with with aftermath and PTSD. And it's important to you to find the good. Is that right? Find the good that that still exists around life. Absolutely. Yes, you can always find the good. Tell tell us about your app. Um, gratitude, gratitude morning. Yeah. I created a gratitude app um, that really is just about making gratitude really simple. Mm -hmm. So you basically just open the app and you can write your list and save it. And it's on your phone 24 seven. So, you know, keeping a gratitude list is really easy. Is that the secret? Is, is it the secret to all of us, for all of us to get through hard times is to still remain grateful for the things that are good in life? Is that the idea behind it? Mm -hmm. Gratitude has really helped me heal um, you know there's been a lot of other work that I've done but that is certainly like the foundation of my happiness now um, I focus on what's good and um, it changes everything yeah um, what do you feel is good in your life what are you <laughs> grateful for oh my gosh like even just being here is amazing um, I'm grateful for my daughter my three-year-old daughter and my husband and my son and um, and 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 just happiness like mm -hmm. it's just um, I'm grateful that I that I've been able to serve in this capacity and help other people and I'm just so excited that yeah. I have a gratitude app out that people like are using and and making a habit of it and and um, yeah it's 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 wonderful who who have you designed the app for is it is it could somebody like me who already feels I have a blessed life could I still benefit from this no <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Good night. Um, absolutely, it's it's for anyone. I think you know it's great just to to focus on what's really working in your life mm -hmm. anytime. And you know it's like you start your day with a really small win, 
And when you have that small, quick three minute win with a gratitude list, then you just gain momentum for the rest of your day. And so anyone can do it. Someone who's just starting out, you can just start with three things. You know, it doesn't have to be 10 or paragraph uh -huh. format. So it's for everybody. That's and, great. And scientifically, it has wonderful benefits for happiness. Oh, great. So. I can't wait to try it out. And you probably can't wait to try out the donuts we had on the last segment. So I, I if can't you could wait. get those donuts over <laughs> to us as fast as possible, if they still exist, I think the crew actually ate all of them. Thank you for your service and thank you for continuing to serve and to, and to make an impact in society. It's really awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. When we come back, steps to make your workplace a safer environment.